trade and aid and economic benefit is one thing, but President Uhura Kenyatta told me Kenya is isolated or feels isolated at the moment in the international community. And he says security is not just a Kenyan problem. Join me over at the super screen. He talks about the international problem of terrorism security requiring a global partnership to find a solution. If you just take a look, we were familiar, of course, from late last year. Kenya faced an ongoing threat from Islamic extremist El Shabab. That happened when gunmen attacked the Westgate shopping mall last September. A military standoff ensued through four terror-filled days. 61 civilians were killed. And then, of course, you have the travel warnings. This May, hundreds of tourists were told to leave Kenya when several nations warned of high threat of terrorist attacks. When you put that in together, these travel advisories are still in effect, much to Kenya's fury. And then, of course, the Kenyan government blamed al-Shabaab for the June attack that turned a World Cup viewing party into a bloodbath. I asked President Kenyatta what needs to be done to alleviate security concerns and what he's looking for from the international community on the question of security and terrorism relief. On our part, what we are doing is increasing tremendously our investment in the security sector because we recognize that um, security is key towards ensuring long-term uh, um, uh, long-term investment and stability as well. But I think what is important for all of us to recognize is that the problem of security that is posed in Kenya is not actually a Kenyan problem. It's an international problem. It is a problem of terrorism that is not Kenya specific but worldwide. And the need for us to recognize that we need to all work together to fight this particular issue. And um, America itself, and, and, and this is something that I constantly remind people, has been a victim of terror. And when it was a victim of terror, the whole world rallied behind the United States in support of our battle against a terror. And this is the way we need to actually focus on our current challenges in East Africa and realize that this is a global threat, and a global threat that requires global partnership in order for us to be able to defeat and secure not just Kenya, but right. the world from this particular threat. So, so reading between the lines, you don't feel that you're getting that you may be getting public support or you may be getting public expressions of support. But if I, if I understand you right, Mr. President, you're not getting that underlying support, whether it's travel... Absolutely, absolutely, because if you look at it, for, especially from the point of view of travel advisories, I don't think that helps us defeat the, 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 the security threat. It actually encourages it. And what we're looking for are people to be able to understand that those kind of, 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 of travel advisories don't necessarily only hurt the country, but they actually give encouragement to the very same people we're trying to defeat. And that's why, for example, you know, when we get positive statements like from Richard Branson, for example, when looking at the Kenyan situation, and he goes out there and he says, no, let's not issue these travel advisories. We should actually face up to the enemy. We should actually invest more. We should actually be more in Kenya, because this is truly the long-term way of defeating this particular threat. I just want to return to this point that you, you, you said, again, this question of the public level of support that Kenya is getting that perhaps you don't feel you're getting at the moment in your battle against on the security issue. We think that it would require and does need much more support, especially from the uh, international community. We as a region are doing everything that we can with the limited resources that we have. And we believe that we need much more partnership yeah? especially in supporting not just our forces, supporting the Somalian government so that the operations that are ongoing can be expanded to cover a greater part of Somalia so that we can reduce the area of operation of people like Al-Shabaab. Are you feeling a bit alone? Well, let me not say we're feeling alone because Kenya is not alone in Somalia. 
Yeah, but I'm talking about, about in, in your battle mm -hmm. against Al Shabaab, in your battle on terror, when you've got advisory, travel advisories, yes. when you've got people. Are you feeling we, a bit we, like. We, 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 we do feel like uh, the world isn't doing enough to support us in uh, uh, confronting the challenges that we have, especially when we recognize that those challenges are not just Kenyan challenges, but are global challenges which require global effort.